off my face with bread! With breasts! With a shoulder of a friend! Welcome back to Pretty Much Experts. I'm Robert John, live in COVID Ontario. I mean Toronto. Skylar, how you doing? <laughs> Fucking high as a kite, baby. High as a kite with that bong rip. And then we got Mikey in the Van City himself. How you doing, buddy? Yep, COVID free, baby. The, we're cured nice. over here. Cured? Fuck. Wait, nice. West Coast yeah. cured? We're fucking cured. You cured as in you had it, or? <laughs> no, cured as in like no one in the province has it, and no oh. one's worried about it, and it's not a real thing, and <laughs> conspiracy, and well, you know, all the stuff. Yeah, all the That's stuff. Good. I, I would, think I have to. I, I want to move there. Oh, I gotta confession. That, that, 20, yeah. 21 uh, confession. Yeah. I haven't been tested or anything. I haven't been gotten any tested, but I'm pretty sure I have night COVID. Oh, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Night induced? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just like I feel fine <clears throat> all day, and then as soon as the sun <clears throat> goes down, and at about like nine o'clock, I just get all like I feel like shit and start sneezing and runny nose. Mm. It's yeah, Ooh. and I can't shake it. Can you taste? Can, can you, you taste? taste? I can taste. Yeah, I can taste and I can Yikes. smell. That's why I'm not too. That's why I think it's just night COVID. Don't tell yeah, me you, you started a little differently. You don't started to like the tragically hip now. <laughs> why would I? Why would I like that? No Is taste. That a part of it? <laughs> no taste. <laughs> no taste. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't been listening to any of the hip. How is uh, how many times has Stadium Arcadium been on in your household? <laughs> what the fuck what is, is Stadium that? Arcadium? Is that, <laughs> yeah. is like that an alkali- <laughs> alkaline tree? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like arcade fire. Yeah, it does sound like that. Nah, no, it's the that Chili Peppers. Be... That was no, their. This is just, this is just that's night COVID. The fucking this every song sounds the same song. Night yeah. Night, yeah, I have no. fucking night whatever night tuberculosis, but not night no, night. You COVID. got night blood. Night blood. Yeah, <laughs> night yeah. blood. Oh, I had a good. I, I had a good night, night blood. I like, uh, recently, I think I have like night strokes. Okay. <laughs> you know, where the neck really starts hurting and it gives you a headache and you get all these pulsating, poundy headaches. Like, yeah, I get hmm. night strokes on a, after okay. a hard day's work for sure, yeah. <laughs> this week I've been uh, battling with uh, what we like to call night wide awake. Where? Oh, no. <laughs> oh dude, this week's been rough. Rough. I've been dealing rough. with it too. I, I, weird. I've been having some, I'm not, not fucking night wake ups, but just like. <laughs> I guess they are night wake ups. Like, night, I've been why do shitty sleep? I just wake up I and like no sleep. I was up from four to seven yeah. this this morning, Dude. this night, whatever. Like wake up at four, wide awake, and it's yep, like yep, I'm gonna yep. get up, I'm gonna go pee. Like I might make an egg. Like I got, I'm yeah. that awake. And then, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a midday nap because I'm gonna I, go make. I'm, an egg. That's where like my day gets <laughs> fucked because then it's like now I'm going to bed at seven. <laughs> As the sun's yeah. coming up, and it's like, okay, I'll sleep into like 11, but it's like, it, it's yeah. not like I slept into 11 and I got a good sleep. It's like I woke up no, at 11, like had a shit yeah. sleep, feel like junk. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and your belly full of eggs. <laughs> belly full of, <laughs> full of digested eggs. Eggs and Pop Tarts all in the bed. <laughs> Dude, like, if I'm two hours into a sleep and I wake up, even if it's to piss or get a drink of water, I'm, like, up now. Like, yeah. two hours. Like, it's, like, my body is just yeah kind of adapted over this last week to just, like, oh, I'm done sleeping after two or three hours. Yeah, it's bullshit. Mm, wow. Like, but... What the fuck is this? Yeah. I'd rather have well, COVID. They, yeah. How are you supposed to I mean, I do the same clean? thing RJ does. I fucking, you make know. Make an I'll egg? Go, yeah. <laughs> go, I'll go with the dog, make an egg, and then I'll lie back down hoping to get that cerebral scrub you know yeah yeah doesn't take <laughs> maybe maybe you guys should eat more turkey get that trip to fan i mean mm. i don't know the last time i had a turkey so maybe, maybe i'm that's due your problem might be due to not enough turkey yeah yeah you gotta I'm gonna have to get into the else. night turkey you're right night turkey for 2021 for sure the roommate right? like yeah that's the you roommate healthy. you gotta get your sleep 
my roommate here was like saying I I could break off a piece of some like melatonin pills. Might give yeah, those a good. shot. Reset the yeah. system tonight. I was gonna say like they you could always just pop a couple Tylenol and have a couple of vodka shots. Yeah, if I'm feeling really bad, I'll get some Tylenol PM going at night. Mm, I have yeah. it this week, but like if I need to sleep and I'm actually sore, I'll take two Tylenol PM and just zonk you right out. Or like Nyquil, I hear that works. I don't think you can get that anymore. Same. Yeah, it's not the same. They took the it's like not coating what out it of used it. To be. Yeah. Like it, okay. It'll make you sleepy, but it and it tastes like shit. But it has none of the, the like vitamins, you know? yeah, <laughs> or whatever it used to have. Because it used to like honestly, it was like fucking heroin, dude. Yeah, it's the closest thing I could c- compare it to. And I've done Nyquil and heroin. It is like fucking heroin. <laughs> it's like mild heroin. If you do enough of it and stay up long enough, it's like thirty percent heroin. Mm. I bet. Yeah. Big fucking Q stands for heroin. Yeah, yeah Dennis Leary. Yeah. No cure for cancer. No, yeah. Like, I don't know. I used to, or like, Tylenol 3s. I don't have Tylenol 3s actively at my disposal. Like, mm-hmm. I used I, to. I can't do them. I can't no. do Tylenol 3s. No, they make me sick right away. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're not supposed to be taking, like, vitamins. <laughs> no, you can't take three in a day. No. Hell, I can't even take one. I can't even take one in a day. It makes me so sick. That was, yeah, like, my know. real, like, issue with the, like, pharmaceuticals. Um, like... They don't make you feel better. It's like Tylenol doesn't help mm. your headache no. or your sore or anything. It just it basically just puts you to numbs. sleep, numbs everything, and yeah, yeah, it. yeah. And same with like Nyquil. Really like I used to think of Nyquil as like, oh, you got a you got a cold, have some Nyquil. But it's like it does yeah. nothing for your cold. It just puts no, you in a coma, so you just don't cough so much. You know much. what? Honestly, yeah, though, so I think the old NyQuil did help. I, like I said, I think there might have been a vitamin or two in there because it made you feel great. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> some sort of root, maybe. Yeah. There X-like might have root. been a root. Yeah. No, I don't think there was any Shark redeeming fin, quality. Something. I think it's more like they banned whatever it was that put you to sleep in the NyQuil. Tusk? Yeah. Tusk, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Tiger teeth, perhaps? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But we were low key talking about this last week about I don't think it was on the show I think it was in our chat about how dependent Americans are on pharmaceuticals and how just like we were I think we were watching no something no effects related mm. and it was like man like these guys just do like they're fucking on benzos and isos and popos and boopos yeah. you know yeah. like they're all just on for everything every little thing oh like you know you're, it's too bright out. Take a pill. <laughs> you yeah. know, like I was actually watching this weird little documentary today, like on YouTube. It was like MSNBC, whatever. Like they're like ten minute shorts, and it was like I guess it was supposed. It came out in like October before the election. It was like comparing the Canadian healthcare and the U.S. healthcare, kind of showing that like everyone in the U.S. that fucking like hates the idea of socialized medicine, like here's how it's not yeah. that different than what you're doing right now. And like yeah. you're saying, like one of the like things they like pulled up was like well in Canada like prescriptions aren't free so it's not like but the average Canadian spends about $280 on over the counter medicine like from just pharmacies and the average Americans like over a grand and that's wow. exactly because like they don't really have the ability to go to doctors for every this and that so they're just buying shit like this will make go to the walk in. Yeah, they'll they'll go to just walk and get a prescription, and then just like yeah, or not problem. even like getting or just like re-upping prescriptions yeah. instead of seeing the doctor again and like really narrowing down diagnosis. It's like I'm just gonna get my Xanax and just refill it every month for a year, ever, yeah. ever, yeah, and yeah. buy my Tylenols yeah. and buy my you know Robaxis said because my back's is sore, so I'm gonna get the Robaxis in like you know like that kind of thing versus like going to like physiotherapy and actually. In, working on the injury like why is your back sore yeah it's sure, like we'll yeah. just take this like cream i'm gonna spend this and it's like you're actually spending significantly more money over a year with these like band-aid mm-hmm. fixes than and doing more damage for sure doing. probably like, long-term yeah. damage oh absolutely yeah psychologically your liver you just all, i think it said the life everything. expectancy Stomach. was like three years less in the u.s than canada like canada's like 82 and the u.s is 79 like it's not much but it's like our no. countries are right beside each other something but yeah, there is yeah, something yeah. about yeah like the long-term misdiagnosis or lack of 
Well, and just like fucking your guts up and your liver up just oh, yeah. for 30 years in a row every day. It's like, yeah. dude. That, that hits home to us. We why call I that take the. That shit as little as possible. You yeah, know? I mean, that's exactly I've why I feel like me body. and Skylar's dad been is fucking fucked. it up. Yeah. 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 Oh, his guts are enough, rotten, man. and it's absolutely from yeah. just drinking and taking pills all the time. Yeah, drinking, smoking pills. Yeah, nothing shit, illegal, you know? but just like self diagnosing. Like, yep. I need Tylenol, I need fucking anti inflammatories, I need this, I need that. And yep. it's like, okay. Like, that's sick and when you're in your 30s, not literally 60s, just it cut off real issue, quick. Right? Yeah. It's not doing anything for you, it's just a curtain over the issue. Yeah. Well, it's like when I, my back was fucked up. We were definitely talking about this in the last week or two. Uh, when my back was fucked up, I got those gabapentins. Yeah. And it's a nerve blocker. That sounds and scary. And I'm telling you, dude, I went from being, like, basically needed a wheelchair. Like, this is how little I could walk. I probably yeah. should have had a wheelchair legitimately for about a week or two. Yeah. Like, I literally could not walk. Like, it was so much effort to get in and out of a vehicle to even get myself to, to the hospital. Right. Right? Wow. Like, I was fucked, dude. Like, I thought my back was broke. Yeah. Like, woke up, my back's broke. Holy shit. How the fuck do I even get out of this bed? You know? I yeah. was fucked, dude. Anyways, um, they gave me gabapentin. This is before I saw the physio and the Cairo and all that, right? Yeah. They gave me gabapentin. I took one. They say you could take up to three of these at a time, like to go to bed or whatever mm. when you need it, as needed. Nine a day. I was like, okay. That night I took one. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah. The most I ever took was two, and it was a little scary. They said I could take up to nine a day. Oh, wow. And it's like wow. holy fuck, man! Like there's, I could, I would be literally vegetative state, choking on my own drool if yeah. I took nine a day. Yeah. I would have died. I would have legit died. But I took one, and I could have done cartwheels. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I, st- when I stood up straight, and I started to like kind of like get into my chores and deal with the dog and shit. I actually had a, a friend come over and take the dog for two weeks. That's how fucked up right. I was. She yeah. watched the dog for me for two weeks but that night i was like oh i can take the dog out we walked to the mailboxes and i was just like holy shit man like i'm cured this shit's a miracle <laughs> the next morning oh my god i thought it was bad <laughs> yeah <'cause> you <laughs> originally spent, yeah you spent the other oh day like over i must have fucking i must have gave myself scoliosis or something because the next day was like times 10 dude I literally laid on the floor. I had friends come over to help feed me. Like, I was hard <laughs> up, man. Like, I laid on the floor for weeks. And going to the fucking doctor after that, and they're just like, listen, that cartwheel that you did. <laughs> you gave yourself, you scoli- <laughs> <laughs> you yourself scoliosis. <laughs> Dude, Usually, I felt like I could have cartwheel damage. Too. Usually this uh, is a I lifelong have, degenerative actually. disease, but we can see yeah. here on the MRI, here and here, that you have in fact given it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, your last cartwheel. Yeah. <laughs> that was your last cartwheel. <coughs> <coughs> uh, you know, there's a lot of lasts for me. I know I'm never <clears> going to skateboard again. I'm done. I bought that skateboard this summer, hurt myself a couple times. I'm like, it's just not fun. It's not no, worth I, it anymore. I miss it so much. Who the hell am I... Who the there's hell am I like, trying to kid? There's you know? a park kind of on the other side of the city called Underpass. It's like under the gardener. And it's just yeah. far enough away that I don't want to go. But it is like, mm. I want to go. I just don't know what condition it's, it's in. Too old, man. Like in December, like, like the wind and the rain and bullshit blow under it, or can you still ride it? Uh, like I just don't yeah. know. I mean, I, if people ride it regularly, if it's a hot spot, it's probably getting fucking <sighs> You swept yeah. off and shoveled off and shoveled. yeah, I'm sure True. like the bowls and shit would not be. I don't, I've never seen. Uh, yeah, it there's before, no bowl. It's all just like, like yeah, it's like all flat ground bullshit, flat bars some and of it, stuff. Yeah, some of it might something. be something. If you shoveled it out, yeah. I like. I, it's fine. Skateboards are fine to ride as a mode of transportation. That's it. That's all that it's for now. Like I will <laughs> never ever try to actively ride a skateboard ever again. It's the same with uh, cartwheels. It's the same with, you know, like I'm over it. I'm done. I'm too old. I feel like, like I'm I... trying to get myself in better shape. I will still never do a cartwheel or ride a skateboard. I f- yeah, see, like I feel like I've gone the other way where like for maybe like the late 20s, early 30s, I really did like coast on skateboarding as like this is just a little hobby I do. Like I just want to maintain. But now I'm at a point where it's like, I don't know. I guess I'm like past that 35 mark where it's like it's all downhill from here. 
So I might as well, like, go for it. Where it's like, I feel like 2021 is, like, the year I, like, try handrails. Like, I think I'm there. Like, I've been skating enough that I feel good. And I'm, like, oh, confident. Dude, you're going to pop a nut. I know, but it's like, well, if so I don't hard. try it now, like, this is the last chance. Yeah. It's going to be, that's, like, that's fair. something I tried well, when I was... that's why I bought a skateboard yeah. in the summer. It was I, the like, same thing. Uh, yeah. It's like, yeah. I want to actually, like, stick a nose slide hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? And yeah. I didn't. I totally did Dude, I gave myself pre-scoliosis onset for onset. sure this summer. Onset. I fucked totally. myself up way too much. Like to, I, I, I'm, I'm, I couldn't even tell you how many times I hurt. Every time, yeah. The skateboard came out, I hurt myself every oh, yeah. time. I know. So a hundred time. times in the summer to the point where it was like, this isn't even fun. Like it's not even fun. <laughs> I'm forcing myself to do this right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? it really helps though like you, you have someone to, to something do myself, it with you know? like yeah because like when i was traveling around europe like i was mostly by myself skateboarding like i had a handful of friends in various places but mostly i just go up by myself and flat ground and you get bored within 20 minutes by my- i can't do it by myself it's boring but you get bored when i was living I in hurt. guelph like last <laughs> year it was like my buddy g lived you know near the skate park so it's like easy to go twice a week meet him have some drinks go to the park there's other cool dudes there and now where i'm at it's like my one of my best buds lives across the street literally and it's like let's just go to the joe fresh parking lot like and fuck around and we do that every week even you know into like we went this week like it's fucking you know i guess not this week it's yeah it was this week it was like right yeah like 20 whatever it's so yeah, we go all the time, like just Joe Fresh parking lot, and it's also Corona. So it's like if I don't go out in the day and do something social, like that might be my only chance all oh, week. Dude. So yeah. it's like yeah, I let's mean, go. Skateboarding is a good activity if you're in this Corona it's fun. times for sure. Yeah. Outdoors, I mean, yeah. if it, well, you can also be with people because you're not. It's you know, you're yeah, not you, actually you don't with them. You you're know? not sharing the ball or anything. It's like it's yeah, actually like one of the safest things somebody. you can do. Yeah. But, I mean, even if you're, like, yeah. 10 I mean, feet apart, it's like we're not... unless you guys are coughing in each other's wind yeah. as you go. That's it. No doubles, you know? No, no doubles. doubles. But it is, yeah. like, yeah, we can be, like, even within <coughs> 10 feet, but we don't share any equipment. Like, we meet each other there. No. There's no, like, hugging each other and, like, dick touches or no anything. It's just, like, just start... Out. Yeah. Yeah, on yeah. the way out, see you later, bud. Like, maybe bump <laughs> elbows or something. At the top of the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're not gonna do a sensual like circle no, jerk or anything. Nothing. No, nothing. No, nothing. No, 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 no. Not like you used to. Not like the old days. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing like the old days. <laughs> Honestly, the old days going to the skate park. The few times that I did, because I didn't skate and I couldn't skate. Um, it was a fucking circle jerk. Everyone's just standing around sucking each other's dicks about the fucking pop shove it you did, and it's like, yeah, just shut up. You know, <laughs> it was a lot of that. Like, like <laughs> that's why I fucking hated going to the skate park. Everyone's just seriously jerking each other off about, oh, you did that fucking heel flip. It's like great, you know. One thing, like I, I really had you're, like a. You're still gonna die alone. I had a <laughs> weird know? thing, like that's a, at, that's a great impression of the skate park. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like <clears throat> to what you're saying, like the. I really didn't like that there was bleachers there. Like, I liked that yeah, there the was bleachers, bleachers there lame. because then it became, like, a hang. Other than, like, I'd go to skate. It's like all the buds are there. There's yeah, be girls there. Yeah, but everyone there. would hang in the grass if the bleachers weren't But there, it was more like, too. I'm going to, like, do, like, skateboarding for a bit. And I'll hang also. But <clears throat> when I'm skateboarding, I hated that I looked up and there's, just, like, 40 people watching. It's a just, grandstand, like, dude. every little thing. <laughs> yeah, it's it like, was... okay, it's sick when they see me do the heel yeah. flip, like you're saying. But they've also watched, like, yeah. every other interaction of me, like, just fucking around, playing on my phone, yeah. finding a song. Yeah. Like, everything I'm doing is just, like, okay. Like, people go there to hang, and they sit on the bleachers, and they literally just face the, like, four people skate. It's like, it there's this weird, weird like, weird. eyes on you pressure that I hate it. It was very, uh, it wasn't a, wasn't a comfortable hang going there. No. Right in front of the no. cop shop? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah it wasn't. The, Mil- <laughs> the Milton, I like the little skate park behind the school and Milton, Milton a lot yeah, better. Yeah, I yes, like that as one. As a hang. Yeah. Even though as there was a, a lot of standing around there, the hut was kind of off to the side. Yeah. So it's like all yeah. the other it, shit it's was exactly going on over there. exactly ideal setup. It's like, yeah, there's people there if you want to hang out, but like everyone in the hut is not in a goddamn bleacher facing you while you're trying to drop in for yeah. the first they're time. They're in an octagon <laughs> kicking each other in the yeah, face. Yeah, they're fighting in the octagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If they're not hacky, cha- hacky sacking each other in the face, they're legitimately kicking each other in the face in an yeah. picnic what was table that? octagon. What was that <laughs> hacky sack game like called like Kill or something, which just like was a way to get kill. people to yeah, fight? Yeah. yeah, like you play hacky sack and you yeah, fucking dude, soccer kick it at old, someone. All the, all the old timers would just gang up on all the grade nines yeah. and just lob them to each other and just kill them right in the face. <laughs> yeah, just fucking <laughs> soccer kick yeah. the and hacky sack. if your sack. shoe flew off, who cared? Yeah. That was yeah. part of it. Yeah. It was just designed to start fist fights. It was great. Oh, for yeah. sure. For sure. Yeah. I'd say on average two a week. Two fights a week. Easy. In that, oh, yeah. In that hut. Yeah, and one of them likely started from a game of hacky sack. Yeah, Dude, they like, almost... those games of hacky sack were actually really fucking rad. Oh, like, it was so fun. There'd be fifty fucking people in a circle, huge circle. And this shoe's flying off. <laughs> 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 Nobody tied their shoes up. <laughs> no one tied their skate shoes. Their DC shoes. Their DC, Osiris's. Yeah, yeah you know. the, o- the Osiris D9s. Oh, the Osiris, the big e- fat ones? You couldn't even you tie couldn't them. You couldn't even tie them if you wanted to. I was always a little envious of the rich cucks that had those fancy shoes, man. I never uh, had I, them. I wanted yeah. a pair of those Osiris so bad. Mm-hmm. See, like, I feel I like, like I might have wanted them. I could finally them. afford it, I went and mm. tried them on. Worst shoe in the world. I and never that, didn't even buy them. That was where my thing was. Like, I was, it was really at a young age, like 13, 14, 15, where it's like I recognize the people cooler than me have these shoes. They're cool, so maybe I should have those shoes. But I, I then, would say younger. Whatever it was. They might be younger. I didn't say older. I said cooler. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking cuck. Open your ears. <laughs> but it was a no, like... I mean, you said at 14, 15. I, I mean like... Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm thinking like high school, like grade 9, grade 10. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But also yeah. like I want a skateboard and you can't skateboard in those. Even though they're like skateboard shoes, oh. it's like you, no yeah. one's... You can't... They're giant pillows on your feet. Like you need an actual yeah. pair of like S's or Vans or like simple yeah. shoes. Nobody... Or, Nobody in, plays basketball in Jordans. Right? No, exactly. Like, no yeah, one plays basketball the, in Jordans. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like those are yeah. fucking street shoes. <laughs> those are street shoes. They're streetwear. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it was like, yeah. I didn't really understand yeah. that then. But it was a like, how come all the cool kids have these skateboard shoes that look like mm-hmm. soccer boppers on their feet? Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> yeah, like, they totally I, did. you they can't did. skateboard in them. They're like that, too, you know. And they're like, you know, the upbringing me and Skylar grew up in, it's like, we didn't have... Your your day shoes and your skate shoes and your this shoe. it's like you had one. You had shoes. You had yeah, just you had, had shoes. Yeah. yeah. So like there was no yeah. budget. I was I was I felt lucky enough to get a pair of Vans honestly. And I they know. Were Twenty dollars shoes. Yeah, and always had to yeah. buy like up a size so you grew into them that year. Like oh every yeah, yeah there was no I fucking still do. multiple pairs. I still pairs. buy twelve sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> my feet are gonna get bigger, you know. <laughs> They're gonna flatten out, widen out. Yeah, there's just no... keep the paper that comes with them. <laughs> keep the toe, keep the toe full. Yeah, you gotta leave the toe, the toe cap in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like there was even a time where I didn't even own a pair of winter boots. I just wore oh, shoes. I mean, all the it's time. 2021. That's the time. Oh, yeah. I don't have any <laughs> fucking winter boots. <laughs> See now, now it's the opposite. Like all I wear is work boots. I don't have. Nice they're not shoes. winter boots, though. They're work boots. Yeah, like you don't have a pair of like season, Burton Sole or some shit. Yeah, I don't know what they are. I don't, yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, you don't have a, like, Kevin McAllister's neighbor a pair of, like, boots to, like, shovel the driveway in. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not walking around in fucking Sorrels. my clothes, You, know what you mean? don't got the Sorrells. Those are the cuckiest boots ever, man, those Sorrells. Yeah. With, like, the fake uh, sheepskin lining. Yeah. <laughs> like, they all look like chick boots. It doesn't matter if you're a dude or a chick, and you're wearing them, they're chick boots. They're chick boots, yeah. Instantly. I, Instantly. I think Dude, I've had many a pair of those. I hated wear. every single pair of those I've ever had in my life. Like, as soon as I put them on, it's like, 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> can I be, judged, can I be attracting some looks today. <laughs> I judged a kid pretty hard the other day at the home hardware where, like, I needed, uh, like, concrete screws. Yeah. But I was hoping I could find, like, self-tapping ones, but they didn't have them. Uh, mm. But either way, like, the, this kid that was working there... Like, I gave him the, like, you know, nose to toes up, you know. Yeah, yeah. His fucking, the Ocular work boots down. he were wearing were fucking, like, <laughs> pristine, beautiful, oh, like, work boots. His first day on the job. And it was just like, I'm not asking yeah. this kid what like, <laughs> fucking like, screws are, and, like, if these are going to work, at, you know. Yeah. It's like, where the fuck is your manager? <laughs> Where's the potpourri section, Where's bud? your father? <laughs> <laughs> Who raised you? Can't be wearing boots like that, telling people what to do with their yeah. construction. That is kind of a cuck job for 16-year-olds. It's a good foot oh in the door, God, but... Yeah. It's so it's it's wild to think that like there's like professional contractors going in there and it's like, oh, can I help you, sir? Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the kids like that should be out in like the like the lumber yard, you know, lifting lumber and moving, doing that yeah. kind getting of shit. carts in their work boots, yeah. Yeah, scuff them up a the bit. Carts. But it goes so the sad. other way, and like I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus here. I, this is probably in my future. This mm. is where I'll probably end up retiring. But, like, that guy who's, like, should have retired 10 years ago, but his yeah. wife left him, and now he used to be a plumber, and now he works in the plumbing department. <clears throat> or he's like, That's also, like, I'm not, ta- I'm not talking yeah. to that guy either. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> he's going to give you yeah. bad advice, so, like, he just, like, yeah. can laugh a bit. The same way I would. Yeah, Me it and doesn't uh, matter what you ask him for help for, you're going to hear about his fucking bitch yeah. of a wife, ex-wife. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Brando wouldn't have let me do this in my home. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's there's no, no, no fucking happy middle there. No. It's all bullshit. I don't want to, like, um, jump ahead too far in my current life, but this is something worth sharing, you know... We talk about this on the show all the time, and I just thought it's fucking hilarious. So, like, I've been interviewing for this job for the last few weeks. Like, it's pretty <laughs> extensive. Like, I've had three interviews so far. I have two more this week. Like, it's like, wow. I guess, like, hiring during COVID, like, they really want to, like, narrow it down. It's like sketchbook, Dude, like, walkthrough, that kind of stuff. Like, and then we're going to do, like, Mm. I think it's on Tuesday or Wednesday we're going to do like a cr- a screen share so they can see me working and like how do I do things and all that bullshit. Well, think of before before you get into it, think about yeah. this with the whole COVID thing. And with your industry, I imagine too, like to do a person in person plus maybe like here's my portfolio. <clears throat> that's usually enough in normal days. But it's like to do it all online via email, it's like yeah. it's going to take <clears throat> so much longer to actually get the full scope of a person and like their art ability and all that shit right yeah yeah it's, it's nuts intense. i never thought of that so yeah i mean it's a long process but i keep like passing every interview so it's like we're getting there if, it was, if this was last year it wouldn't have been it would have been like a long, two right maybe a two interview thing yeah go in one day like yeah, i had like thing. Exactly, the first yeah. week was just like interviewing with hr people this people that people like negotiate the salary all that bullshit and then now i'm in the like creative phase like does the art director want to like work with me where it's like that would have been really easy to suss out in person but you could have got that over with all in person yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. it's so easy to suss that out in person like but we're gonna like potentially sign like a multi-year contract to be like working together every day and like whether or not they like me or think yeah it's like it's way harder to do basically you're quitting the podcast you can't do the podcast anymore. No. The fucking exciting part is this is the company where the like fucking CEO dipped to the Dominican and had people shit through hammocks on him. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. using my faggins den idea. Yeah. A.K.A. I don't want to yeah. say the name, but you can fucking go back a few episodes yeah. or whatever. Let's Mike's do favorite the documentary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it really him, though? Yeah, oh, it yeah. is absolutely him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as soon as I said the company him. to, like, my buddy Andy the other day, he was right away, like, the guy that shits through people, like, like uh, shits in hammocks. And I was like, <laughs> no, not him. Notes. And he's like, that's a guy. And then I, I messaged Mike, and Mike's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the antivirus yeah, thing. True. And I'm like, that's oh, true. fuck, yeah, that's definitely him. Yeah. Like, but what I'm saying is, if you get boss, hired on, whatever. you're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna be able to blast him and throw shade at him on the fucking internet. You know I haven't I mean? said the name. I haven't said the name. We're gonna have to delete the previous podcast. 
Don't care. <laughs> yeah. He did it, not me. Piece it together. Yeah, that's true. No, I didn't do well, that. Well, dude, like you gotta that's... think. They're you're if you're gonna be working for that company, they're in this. Like this is their world in oh a way. Oh my god, right? I can't wait for like. I got fired. And shit. I basically got fired from a job for having <laughs> so little internet presence, and I basically got fired from a job that has nothing to do with the internet. Based off shit that happened on the internet, where it's like you're fucked, buddy. You're gonna get this job, and that's it. It's gonna last a week. You're fucked. As soon as they start digging, they're gonna yeah. dig. <coughs> so I mean, brand fucking... new episode where they're talking about shit, talking the CEO. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if he's the CEO anymore. I don't know what. Ha- I don't remember the end of that movie. But the guy definitely you know shit through a hammock on some have to poor do little no, woman. No video anymore, and then yeah. there's plausible deniability. Mm. <laughs> you know? nah, we're talking about Bill Gates, right? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's just Gates, get it out yeah. there right now. Talk about Bill Gates. Sure, but also, like, I feel like that's the perfect company for me. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess. I, yeah. Why not, Anything right? goes. Like he didn't yeah. do that, and then the company <laughs> a real fun place to work. Like I mean, he didn't do that, and then they went Christmas into business. Parties? It's like no, they're still going. They just <laughs> I mean, like there's a Netflix documentary yeah. about him. Yeah, just a bump Could you road. imagine what those Christmas parties are like? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like eyes wide shut, just people fucking on the table and stuff. Like <laughs> hammocks everywhere. Hammocks <laughs> <laughs> everywhere for sure, man. It's now a hammock Dude, that's, business. That's my busiest time of year. Christmas? Oh yeah. Oh my God, Christmas hammocks. <laughs> and you get a hammock. And you get a hammock. They already got shit on them. I guess this is like a like a weird little uh, foreshadowing to next week. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're definitely bringing back Vegas then. Bringing it back around. Bringing back around by popular demand. That's next week though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's next week. So don't get your hype. Don't get too excited. No, I didn't even say the word. I didn't even say it. I said it. That's its official name now. I didn't. I wasn't on board, but first name Michael. (laughs) Michael Faggins. Michael Faggins. Then I I wasn't on board, but now I am. I'm not only on board. I'm the captain and skipper. (laughs) Bow to stern. Bow to stern. That's clever. Yeah, we'll go over that next week. Yeah, we'll explain it next week, (laughs) and then never again. And then never. Yeah, again. exactly. And we'll pretend it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there'll be proof that we meant well. <laughs> you can always trace it back to like, oh, even here's a an acorn way back here amongst this wreckage yeah. of like we Dude, meant RJ, well. Dude, you should name you should name next week's ep- whatever the original Faggins Den episode was. You should name this one. Like point five or something, okay. so it's like it came immediately after. Yeah. So it's like it could be yeah. a two, so people just want to listen. Or slightly before. <laughs> Maybe just the numbered Faggins Den, because we're gonna do this all the time. We we have a million dollar yeah. ideas. I have three written it's, in my phone right yeah, now that are true. fucking good ideas. Well, we should. We just gotta stop talking about it because I'm about to I, burst. We're gonna we're hyping it up <laughs> one more second. They also, the thing about the three that are written in my phone, they're so tragically spelt wrong because I'm so fucking wasted when I come up with these ideas that in the next morning when I look at them, I'm like, I kind of know what I was talking about. Like, they're so bad. Just the spelling. <laughs> that, you know, <laughs> this is an idea a sober person could never come up with. No, God, no. God, no. Yeah, mine was definitely under the influence, too. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna extend this out to any of the fans that are listening. But if you have any uh, ideas for the the Faggins, the Michael Faggins, Michael <laughs> Faggins, send in your ideas, uh, your pitches, and we will see if we'll yeah, you know if we're in or out. I want to up yep, the ante yep. and like we can have like a call in. Like we can have someone call in and pitch their idea Ooh. to us, Michael Faggins. Wow. I yeah. don't hate it. I, I think, think that would be a hell awesome. I don't know if the technology is there, but we'll figure something out. We'll figure it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably do like a speakerphone through your mic, RJ. Right? Yeah. I mean, we've had people call in once or twice before. Like, it's happened. This is true. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll figure it okay. out. <laughs> All what right, are you this talking is... about? <laughs> I, I... People have called in before? Hubley definitely called oh, in yeah. once. Yeah. And he roasted okay. you about raisin bagels. Sure. Uh, 
<laughs> Wait, that was a live call? Yeah. Oh, was that a... <laughs> I don't remember. I remember I that. I don't yeah. remember. I think it happened. I remember. I remember getting roasted at the bagels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the whole yeah. you know, the structure of that whole no. thing. Yeah. No, they're fantastic. You guys are fucking animals. You know? I can't even. Uh, your I was in. So like New Year's Day, I was super hungover. Woke up like I had been drinking till six a.m. Like it was like a wild night. Wake up super hungover, and not only do I just like wake up at three and I feel like shit. Like as soon as I leave my room, I'm like greeted by my roommate's boyfriend that like has a decency to be like, "Oh, dude, like I kind of plugged the toilet up real bad," and it's like, "Great, dude." <laughs> <laughs> like I don't really need I don't really need a toilet now. Fucking New Year's Day hungover as yeah. fuck. Like thanks. But like, you but okay. you plugged it right? No, you're still working on it. He was just like no. greeting me, like you know, like he's still in there yeah. working. He's all sweaty um, and he's shit. He's taking like, a break. He's wiping the sweat off his brow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I don't know what he yeah, ate, sure. but he was in there. Yeah, I got he a was good in there for a while. Going. Yeah, this one's wet. Yeah. I didn't mean That's to like just roast. Tear away shirts. I'm telling you. I know. I, yeah, this isn't about him. This is about after that. It's like fuck. I need to go outside because I might puke. I need to do like I need to walk. So I, yeah, well, yeah, like I'm dying. Choice, I, right? I need to fucking pee. Also, <laughs> like I'm definitely gonna go in the alley behind the building and go pee. Like you fucking idiot yeah, broke the yeah. toilet on Christmas <laughs> or New Year's Day. Um, <laughs> but then, the window, like, like a man, RJ. I ended up like just walking down the street to Hortons, and I was like, "Well, I'm here to get a coffee. Like maybe I should grab a a bagel." And I looked at those oh, yeah. rice and bagels, buddy, and they look like Oof. pure dog shit. I don't know how you eat. Like, I entertained <laughs> it. I looked at it. Dude, you know what? Number one rule about the rice and bagels, you don't look at it. <laughs> <I'll tell> you, <laughs> that, like, you know, why do you got to look at it? Yeah. Who's telling you? Who, whoever said that I look at it before I like, put it in my yeah. mouth? You it looked with your eyes. It no. looked wet and burnt at the same time. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it is, though. It is. That is part of the whole thing. It's slightly damp. But it's yeah. also burnt to a crisp on like one specific spot on the underside, like the underskin. You know? and, let's, and let's not forget that chalky, smoky oh. goodness. Oh yeah, the smoky raisin. Oh, goodness. smoky oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god. Honestly, it's it's funny to say this because it's like got raisins and it's a sweet bagel, but it's the only bagel at Tim Hortons that doesn't hurt my teeth. I don't know how or why, but it's like if you get an everything bagel, it just gets like caked in your fucking teeth. Yeah, by the end true. of it, and it's like, like it just starts to hurt your that. teeth. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't fuck with everything. Raisins, they I'll just get... disintegrate as soon as they hit your mouth. You know? Yeah. Sesame seed bagel with cream cheese though, like it's so good. I do like the sesame seed, but they don't do it out here anymore. Really? It's like one in five Tim Hortons mm. will have a sesame bagel. Yeah. I'm pretty annoyed with the lack of donut variety also. I say that being like oh, I almost never buy donuts. donuts. Like it's just like one of, like I love them too much. Like I'll just buy a dozen like I'm fat. So I never do yeah. that. But then like this like particular New Year's Day when it's like I want a bagel, let me look at these fucking horrible ideas called raisin oh, bagels. I no. I want two crullers. That was oh, it. Yeah. Then I like look at donuts to eat and it's like there was like four different kinds. Like I remember the good old days Hortons was like all donuts. Yeah. Like the whole front case was donuts. Dude. It was a half a kilometer of donuts. A kilometer of donuts, yeah. yeah. They had Hortons, you know like boys, Hortons six just sold out, like they sell it's all sandwiches fucking sandwiches. Now, you know? Yeah, and goddamn... Yeah. I, and, you know, the farmer rap is good. They're in food courts. Like, when's... When... Yeah. Like, I don't want to see a fucking Hortons in a food court, bud. Get it out of there. Yeah, yeah. No, you know? it's got to be its own entity. That's yeah, fair. where are people going to park if it's in a yeah. food court? Where the fuck okay. can I drive my car through? <laughs> yeah, <goddamn>. exactly. <laughs> where, where, where am I going to stand with all of my cool friends if <laughs> we're in a food court? You where do I park my cool car if there's a food court in the way? <laughs> they might think you're parked at Walmart. You just fucking park in, just <laughs> yeah, you're parked in front at Walmart. Of the Cinnabon and just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where am I supposed <laughs> to park? Well, I was messaging you guys. I was messaging you guys. Intermittently, because uh, you got banned from Facebook. Last week. Oh, yeah, there is that whole thing, eh? 
I forgot. I forgot. That was so frustrating. There were so many times I had something to say to you guys all day. And then finally I was like, oh, I can message them on Instagram and at least let them know. Yeah. And then yeah. you didn't even acknowledge it. So I was like, I can't even. I don't even know if they know. And it was like two full days I was banned from Facebook. <laughs> and I couldn't even tell you why. I couldn't even tell you why. You so called someone a fag. You I called them no a idea. cuck faggot. We no know. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I said faggot. But you go on. I call. You? I, call I, I call people cuck. I call people cuck on marketplace all the time. Cause That's they're all what I'm fucking yeah. cucks. Yeah. Well, everyone's out there trying to get rich off shit they found on the ground. It's like you really need that yeah. five or ten dollars. I get it. Like everyone's broke and trying to make money, but it's like this is the biggest thing with this whole vintage antique craze that like just gets my goat man it gets my goat hard you yeah. know it's like yeah. someone will find something for five dollars find out oh shit there's a demand for these it's worth upwards of a hundred dollars on etsy i'm gonna sell yeah. it for a hundred dollars you just yeah. bought it for five yeah if you don't want it then why don't you just sell it and let someone else get a deal for 10 15 20 sell it for a reasonable thing you're still tripling quadrupling your money if you're not that's even... what you're thinking about that's that's the thing. It's like you don't even have See, the ability to double be it. Top dollar. If you bought Come it for on. five, it's worth five. Do you think some it's worth five? Do you think some yeah. antique seller knows less about that item than you do? It's worth five. It's usually people buying shit at Value Village and then. But even then, the yeah. But even place. then, it's yeah. like people that are actually that industry, like they, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not worth no, that. No, it's like, not like worth oh, it. I I like old yeah. Coca Cola memorabilia. That shit sells real hard, and it's like, Dude, that's a that very shit, that like, who but, gives a fuck. But that's a really general mm-hmm. statement. Someone that and, is buying yeah, Coca Cola merchandise, they want it's like no nineteen forty this made things. from. They have specific yeah. things that sell for crazy amounts. Specific. Years it's not a general exactly. everything. It's not like every fucking free no. beanie baby they gave away. Exactly. That says Coca Cola is now worth a million dollars. No, yeah. it's the one that has a fucking typo. It's like they only actually made a hundred in purple. Totally. It's like there's very specific things that collectors Dude. are looking for, and you don't know shit about them. That's why you think this one's worth ten times That's the amount it. that. An actual but seller selling it with the invention, it or like, not the invention, with the popularization of these online mm. marketplaces, everybody thinks they can get rich right. off shit that people are throwing away. Yeah, and it's like it, like, I, great. I was doing this ten years ago when I was broke. I get it. Yeah. I go to Value Village and find a Pyrex for five dollars and sell it for forty on the buy and sell. Yeah. I did it too. Yeah, yeah. Right, because I yeah. fucking because it was a good way to make a couple bucks. Within a year, you realize it's not worth it. You're yeah. wasting money. It's not even fun. And you're also just being like a cuck and contributing to this whole shitty af- black market aftermarket yeah, shit yeah. that like all these losers exist in. And now it's like if you can't even go on there and find anything at a reasonable price unless yeah. they're an old person that doesn't know any better. Right. You take it's advantage like someone. Everybody thinks their garbage is worth something. It's like, like you were saying, RJ, like – just because it's orange or yellow and it's from the 60s or 70s doesn't mean it has any yeah. prestige. It's no. an old sewing box. It's only yeah. worth five bucks. Yeah. You know? What there is are bullshit? old like, you're yellow. You're going on Etsy and seeing that one. Yeah, exactly. It's like you may have seen like an old yellow sewing box from the 1970s sell for some money. But it's like that one was like a design by like yeah. Yell Bassoon or something. Like there are p- specific yeah, reasons perfect, that things and I had this. And, there are reasons yeah. some things are like more sought off, sure. but it's not general. And a real like bummer. No, it's not general. It's usually I follow, designer shit. Yeah, it, it was a designer shit back yeah. then. That's what it's like. The whatever. Yeah. You know, it's a Louis Vuitton thing from the 1970s. I have no idea. But um, mm-hmm. something I hey. get real bummed on is like I follow a lot of I, a lot of which is so dumb. Like Skyler will like roll his eyes. I follow a lot of like sports <laughs> memorabilia things on Instagram, like trading cards and Ugh. shit. There but like I don't signs. watch I don't watch <laughs> any sports. I just think it's like cool, like nostalgia y to like yeah, see yeah. these cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do and too, yeah. it's so heartbreaking. Like every now and then, like a card will come up that I know I have, and they're worth nothing. Yeah. Yep. Because everything yeah, since the 1980s yeah. was made in such huge quantities, 
that nothing Goldie. like even like a Mario Lemieux rookie yeah. card is like a couple hundred bucks like it's worth nothing tops 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 no. tops like but like Gretzky like a Gretzky like he's at the end like, Gretzky's yeah. at the end like late 70s where his like rookie yeah. cards worth like it's maybe a hundred grand like it's it's very valuable yeah. if in good condition but then you like yeah. see these it's like Wendell Clark rookie card like $65 and it's like really yeah like someone's been holding on yeah. to that since like 1982 and it's not worth a it fucking worth effort that you did and now it's 65 it's like whoa yeah it's like I mean, though, if you're hurting for 65 bucks like get a new hobby yeah I got a Dude, buddy that sell does it for twenty dollars. I got a buddy that does it as a side hustle, right? Mm. And he, uh, like, yeah, all these side hustles. Fuck and it's man. just, it's like, I get it. It's like he buys like packs, like not. I don't yep. mean packs. He he buys boxes. The boxes, boxes. Like, yeah, yeah. Unopened, yeah. Oh, I'm up yeah, on it, bud. I watch this shit right for yeah, right for X amount of dollars. Yeah, it's like one hundred and thirty bucks he, for the whole set. But there, there are like and there's going to be of, one rare one in yeah. there that pays for the box. Right. There are, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are markets for it now where like you're even like you know I if I can't like top of my head like you know like you're OPG like uh, Austin Matthews is like a new oh okay. I thought you were oh, talking brands here some cut guy. no I'm talking like if you got no, like the tops brands. the tops upper deck. Yeah. Austin Matthews yeah. hockey card, like a rookie card from 2016. Like, sure. people will buy that off of you for like 100, 200 bucks. Yeah. Because it wow. will be worth money down the line. But they're, they're, they're creating this market, which is neat, That's but neat. also so cuck. Well, right? and but my... I'm just saying, though, like, if you, you could take one fucking card. And yeah. turn it into a hundred bucks, like dude. I get that's, it. That's you know. I'm, I'm, it. I'm like, devil's yeah, advocating yeah. <laughs> right now. It is not worth that though. That's the fake industry yeah, right now. Right. Toronto Maple Leafs yeah. fans specifically in 2020 that are creating a demand. Exactly. In 2030, yeah. when so he's he goes to Phoenix Coyotes, like forward. they don't give a shit anymore. That value goes all yeah. the way down. And I, I mean, I, again, I follow so all these things. Like, um, and no demand. Yeah, there's the that's it. It's like a, there's a perceived <laughs> demand. Here's here's one too yeah. where my buddy he was telling me. I can't remember. Like, I'm totally like kind of like whatever. Yeah. But there's like a new thing Out. that they do where they they take a jersey that like say yeah. oh McVay. and they make a oh card out of it. Some right, yeah, shit. they like will yeah. cut it into like little like three like a square yeah, yeah. inch piece of fabric. Put it in put a it card. In. And now this yeah. card is worth, you know what I mean, like. But see, that's it's, it's worth one ninety seventh of a jersey. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, me and Mike are only, like you can't duplicate that. But shit, But here's right? like, you can't duplicate it. But those yeah. jerseys are not rare. They wear a different jersey almost every game. Yeah. No, it's just it's a gimmick. No, it's a it's a fake yeah. it's a fake industry. Yeah. Like that's where like I yeah. follow it. It's yeah. interesting. It's like I know what you're meaning. Like that card is mm. potentially worth more. But actually, will yeah. anyone care in twenty years? No, because no, because his jersey's in the card. It's like yeah, but you can also buy his yeah. actual jerseys. Like that's a a thing. Like there is a you can just yeah. search for like you know game worn Aston Matthews jerseys. Like they exist. It's just a man made market. It's a fan it's made and, and not that not that it's any cool other if you're into collecting it. Like it's that, exciting, it's like, and there are potential yeah. like big market cards like uh, when you're but saying like buying is, it this it made sense in the 90s when there was no television or internet right. or the, anything the compare but the prices yeah when you, you couldn't know? compare and prices. as great as the outdoors are when it's fucking raining it sucks and you needed hockey cards and pogs yeah. and game boy like you needed that shit yeah you know um, or if you were like rich you'd play chess i guess but i don't know like yeah. maybe there's collectible chess pieces i i don't think it's collectible <laughs> i think it's like a fake market and it's, I, all I, it's, all, market, yeah. it's all man-made. It's all market. It's all man-made. Is anyone but, I mean, really, it's, it's, literally gonna buy it? It's like maybe not. My like last thing on it is like again, like you're saying, not. like definitely not. Well, like it's saying, worth that, but then it's gonna sit on eBay for 16 years before thing. you get that. That's the thing. Know? So like yeah. this is my last you know rant on it. Like I follow all these things. Like I really enjoy it. And you're saying about buying the like packs and the sets and all that. Like that's another whole world. So like the nineteen like eighty six NBA OPG whatever the fucking thing they are, like you can buy the like unopened yeah. packs for like a thousand dollars on eBay, because there's a potential for a Michael yeah. Jordan rookie card in every pack, and that card might be worth two hundred grand. 
So people are constantly yeah, yeah. just gambling, spending a thousand dollars on a pack because potentially there's a Jordan rookie card, and a Jordan rookie card might sell for two hundred grand. Like it's just like this ending, unending like cycle of like gambling. But like Mike's saying, like just yeah. because you get the Jordan rookie card and it's worth two hundred grand, like how many people are willing yeah. to give you two hundred grand for that card? Like this isn't actually a house with Jordan, that with has Jordan, value that's adding that equity to. People, like it's like a fake. Listen, yeah. it's not adding equity to your when home. You, were describing you can't put. That, the, yeah. When you were describing that though, it's like if you're a rich cuck and you like basketball. That sounds fun to just yeah. gamble on these decks, and then you literally just like open it, no Jordan, you throw it on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're so <laughs> rich that you don't care about like, other five dollar cards. But that would be kind of fun. That would be a fun gamble. Like, I get, mean, it. I, I get the indulgence. Uh, every now and then, I like, yeah, like even yeah. me, it's like I think of like, man, it might be like you know the gambling part is exciting, but if you did get the oh, Jordan yeah. rookie card and it's worth worth in quotes yeah. 200 grand how many rich cucks are just yeah. gonna like ah i'll just buy that because yeah, i can very few it's like very few it's very worth that because it's so rare to but do, do that to think that this is an investment it's and it's like worth this and i have this you money make two hundred thousand dollars potential off of it, yeah. but like you need to find someone that's willing to pay buy. that yeah, yeah. Right? and it's but like few like, and far in between i'm it, not saying you wouldn't find it but like mark cuban would buy that card yeah but would he not already have it Again, yeah. it's like this. Yeah. It's like there's no actual market for it, but the market insists that it's worth this much because of yeah. its condition, rarity, all and that. It, the what, it, to go back to like the Facebook faggots, and I'm just yeah. gonna call them faggots Jesus. this time because they <laughs> You're are. You're gonna get banned from Spotify you know? now. It's not the reason I got banned, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, those fucking Facebook faggots, FFs for short. Yeah, um, yeah. They're, like oh, they'll they'll. FFs, they'll put up their fucking like go, go change your tampon if you're so worried about the fucking F word, okay? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> any one of you, I don't give a shit. I'm not talking to you, and if I am talking to you, and you don't like it, fuck off. Okay, okay. period. Sure, I'm calling sure, them sure. FFs for my own benefit because I like abbreviating things, not yours, you cock. <laughs> you you're just O F original F. <laughs> You're non know, F, you know, Facebook, F. Regular F, you are F. You are F, motherfucker. I like these little fake rants. Anyways, um, <laughs> but these FFs, um, it's like they're creating a market out of something that actually has no demand over it a lot That's of the time. A, the demand it's is really It's a leather low. wallet. Yeah, you know that just happens to be forty years old that someone neglected because it was a piece of shit then mm. isn't suddenly valuable now because it's of some age and that you know insists that there's some prominence to it. Mm. It's like no, it's just a discarded item from forty years ago. Not everything that's old is worth something. Yeah, okay, it's and it's just not. It also might the taste may change. That's my other side thing. It's like okay, so like potentially you get an Austin yeah, Matthews rookie and card. Flows. There's people that say it's worth seven hundred dollars. Like throw a number on it. You can't think yeah. I have seven hundred dollars. It doesn't work that way. Like you might. <laughs> well, if someone buys it, it could be worth seven hundred. But it's also right now. Like tastes may change. Like, do you think a Doug Gilmore rookie card goes for seven hundred dollars? Like no fucking way, because no one cares anymore. Fuck we moved man. on. Yeah, like if no. Mario's if less Dougie, than like, 500, saves, uh, if Mario's less than five, building. yeah, if Mario yes, is less than was... five, Doug is way less than Mario. I go, I oh, go fucking sure like is. twisted that it's just like you buy that Austin Matthews rookie card thinking like this is going to be like he's going to be huge and he's going to be worth yeah. it someday. He might, and then he rapes somebody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like gets a DUI. He gets a DUI. A yeah. That's it. And leaves them yeah. there. You know, a, he like, fucking Tim Billy Joel someone right in their right. living room. Yeah. Yeah. Like didn't <laughs> even try. You have a coke and heart attack. Never plays another hockey yeah. game in his life. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah. No, it could go either way. That's also a gamble. Because <laughs> it could be right? worth money. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, it could I be mean, worth some yeah, real money. I was money saying, now. like... like do, you <laughs> think, do you think OJ's rookie card is worth anything? Oh, yeah. I think... The juice? That, I don't oh, think yeah. people would yeah. buy it, though. Big time. No. No, big time. Big I, time? Because OJ's the other... a cultural icon. He's not just a sports athlete. Also, Yo, and his rookie card... He transcends sports. He transcends he, it. Famous, and also, his fuck, rookie yeah. would have been the 60s. 
So to find the car to that, for sure, big money. I disagree. Yeah. I just, I, I don't think anyone. But back to what we're well, saying RJ, about you're an idiot. You're the one that follows all these cunts. I follow them, I'm but fucking, I'm also like these that, IFs. I'm with these you, IFs. Mike, in saying that just because someone has it up for sale for say a yeah, hundred yeah. grand, who the fuck is buying that? That guy was a fucking murderer yeah, piece of no garbage. Market. Anyone that has an extra hundred grand laying around is isn't market, spending it on a fucking OJ real. card. People would buy that shit for sure. Way less Listen, than that. Listen, I'm going to get one. I'm, I'm going to get one now. Yeah, if they're I'm $5, say, like, I'm yeah, getting one. Maybe a couple hundred bucks. Like, he went to right jail now. over oh his God. memorabilia, remember? Yeah, when he did. Like, Nobody yeah, was fucking I'm... looking for his memorabilia. <laughs> But no, it was because he wanted to sell it, and like that yeah. dude, you know, it was, that dude took it. Like, was there's he there's was the one there. that broke into that hotel to steal it, though. Like no one else is like beating the door down for some OJ jerseys. Oh, I was seventy I bucks. Want the, I want the nineteen seventy nineteen seventy tops OJ Simpson rookie card. Yeah. Seventy, and it's awesome. It is sick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How how much? How much? Seventy dollars. Seventy bucks, bud. Told you. I'm no, th- it's I'm gonna shit. get one. I'm gonna frame it. I'll send it to you for your birthday. I'm the fucking there hockey card guy, folks. I watch these things. No one's buying that shit. Seventy bucks sounds no, right. Some of them that. are. I mean, I mean it's affordable. Some, yeah, I'm getting you one. I'm getting one. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's so rad. Look at that. Yeah, I like it. It's I'm so fucking rad. We should all. I want to get the life size version. I wonder if they could blow it up to like <laughs> a life size version. <laughs> Dude, that's a cool card. He looks so young and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. It's about the get it. Running back. Fucking get it. 1970 it tops. That's my yeah. point. They have yeah. no value. They're cute to collect. Uh, average people like yeah. us can afford to collect sought after ones because they're like they're not expensive. But anyone that thinks they're getting goddamn rich off a like hockey card or some shit, like well, not a there's thing. There's people that act like it, and again, it's just like <laughs> this episode is about hockey industry, cards. Apparently. The in- <laughs> The industry bothers me. It's just collectible and collections in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I understand the value of certain things. And I understand why there's value in these things. Like, what? again, it just my... The, the nature of how my brain works, it's like, I just see your garbage as garbage. Yeah. Regardless of how old it is. Yeah. Like, I understand that some of these things have value and I'm ignorant to it. But not everything does... And I can't just walk around ignorant to that idea mm. that now everything that's suddenly old is of some prominence. It's just not. You can still go to the fabric section and get a fucking wool blanket from Hudson Bay Company right. for five ninety nine. Yeah. And now, and as soon as you take it out of that store, it's all of a sudden worth five hundred dollars. It's just not. It's, it's not. really just not. To some people, it is, and maybe in some circles and certain products, definitely are. I get why they are. Because they have some cultural significance and they're rare. But not everything. It just can't be everything. And with the, you know, the whole taking off of this Facebook marketplace, it's like, it's just littered. And two and three dollar items, you know, yeah. that it's like, this is literally garbage. It's plastic. Yeah. You know? You can't, you need <laughs> it's to like, that you're time, supposed to dispose of. Yeah, you need the time for the market to really establish that price like this OJ rookie card you just pulled up for $70 it's like nobody fucking wants that yeah. that's why it's only $70 well, it's 50 years old but it's also like he did those murders in the 90s everyone's kind of made up their mind that he's garbage and he's not like a, he's not Babe Ruth that didn't murder any hookers or anything um but anyway it's like whoa 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 there might be like there might be the odd like white swan where it's like hey i found this like schwinn bike in my grandpa's garage and i'm gonna sell it for nine hundred dollars exactly. yeah, yeah. and someone buys it right away because they don't know any better that doesn't mean every yeah. bike from now on is worth nine hundred dollars it's like no a no. more educated every market's gonna know era, like that's not yeah. in very good condition like it doesn't mean anything that's just because great. someone else sold that's it for nine it's, great, yeah. it's not how it works yeah. it's like yeah this one's not in the same condition that's my big gripe and this is why I'm getting kicked off of Facebook because I'm yeah. not. Am I actually trying to reason with these people? I'm just calling them out. It's yeah, what yeah. I do for fun in this co- in this COVID times. COVID, yeah. yeah, you know, unprecedented time. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's what I've been doing. I've been yelling at people on Craigslist and fucking Facebook. <laughs> this whole COVID thing jumped off. <laughs> it's like fucking Saturday nights getting heated. <laughs> <laughs> so good you're just like a fucking uh, what do they call them the uh alcoholics the arm, no like armchair quarterbacks or whatever oh just like 
Oh, sit yeah. there. No, Desk right? like, chair like, quarterback. Yeah, yeah. You're literally, but you're <laughs> just like, oh, yeah. I, yeah, like, I just love it. Like, <laughs> fuck you. Tell me what you're doing yeah. wrong on the internet. Yeah. I do like it. I do like it because a lot of the time it's like old women that have nothing else to do with their time. And it's like, you're pathetic. Like you're a waste, you're just a waste of breath and air and all of it. You know what I mean? It's like you're literally nothing better to live for but to try and sell these hand towels for five dollars on Facebook. You're gonna waste a whole day of communicating with someone, making arrangements, and like possibly leaving your house to meet them right. for a five dollar hand towel. Yeah. Like you are a loser. Like there's actually, you know what I. I think I do know why I got kicked off Facebook, <laughs> and it was this woman had these lantern cases, like these old Coleman propane, uh, or it's like a, a fuel lantern, it's got the little baggie in it, you know, like old school camping lanterns? Yeah. yeah. Right? Propane lanterns. She had the plastic, one plastic and one metal case for these lanterns. Cases, no lanterns, just <laughs> cases. The thing that you would find at the fucking bulk section of Value Village for 99 cents. Because yeah. no one wants them. There's 500 of them in any value, given value village right now, yeah, yeah. right? Like, she had this up as an antique set of Coleman lantern cases. Antique from the 80s, I guess. Yeah. You know? And she wanted $75 for the pair. And I wrote, are you fucking dense? <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then I and then I berated her for like you know oh, yeah, the uh, yeah. Facebook yeah. Messenger called her cunt, called, yeah. her, called her a loser yeah. told her to get a life told her to stop trying to get rich off you know fucking five dollar value village items like all the crap that you say Classic. yeah yeah I think now that might have been it that was like a week ago but it makes sense that, that would catch up with me I was pretty rude to her <laughs> I yeah. mean she deserved yeah, it you served your time yeah yeah dude it's just you know it's fun for me and also like I people need to be broken down a little bit. Get walking around with their fucking on their fucking high horses with their head in the clouds. Get a grip, man. Get a grip. That's true. Get a grip. Come on down, right? I love telling people yeah. like when they come over. Punch you right in the horse. stomach. Yeah, just like <laughs> just tell them, be like, I got some sugar cubes over there in the cupboard. If you want to come down, feed them to your, high, your horse. high horse. I always love that diss. I don't fully understand it, and every try, time I try to quote it, it doesn't come out right, and I sound like an idiot. I swear to God, every <laughs> time. I got a fucking salt lick over here for you. You know? Like, <laughs> like I, I never do it any justice. I never do it any justice ever. Yeah. Fucking high it's horse. one of my favorites, though. <laughs> All right, well, fuck it. Let's call her quits before I start dropping some more F-bombs here. Save it. Yeah. <laughs> Save I'm the so F-bombs. Ready. I'm getting fired up. Oh, no, just wait till next week. Yeah. Fagin's Den next week, listeners. <laughs> Michael, Enjoy. Michael Fagin's Den. Bye-bye. Enjoy. Uh, until then, yeah, cool. Have a good time. Whatever. All right. See you next week, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in this week. We are Pretty Much Experts. You can check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and YouTube. While you're at it, go have a look at our Facebook page. You can ask an expert any time of day or night, whatever you like. And if you're into it, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you, baby. Thanks again, everybody. Tune in next week. We are Pretty Much Experts, and we love you, I guess.